That was uh, uh, Kylo Ren. Yes. Who? Uh, he's, he's the, the bad the guy Wars. in the new trilogy. So oh, it's like right, a Yoda okay, hand. Yeah, like, so we have prequel trilogy and new trilogy. What was that? Oh, was it Sims? Was that the Sims cooking? Yeah, that was Sims. There's a Sims 4 mobile game, I feel like, that is either not out yet or, yeah. or just came out. Got a countdown clock. <coughs> oh, boy. Five seconds to Battlefront. What are we doing here? They all have brain oh, football on. They're having a happening on the stage. <laughs> what are we doing? Peter Moore's gonna rap. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> turn me up. Uh. Yeah, these all look like guys who would wear jerseys in their free time. <laughs> Zach Efron's gonna. <laughs> See, this, move, yeah, this movement is really blurry. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like some weird interlacy. White. Mm. What do you think? I saw the drum line. I know how this works. These guys were just hanging out doing a drum circle in Charlestown, and they were just like, "Hey, do you guys want to show up? <laughs> Put these jerseys maybe, maybe, on. Maybe we audible for the uh, for another uh, stream." Yeah, uh, while the drum circle's going on. Yeah, maybe we, we switch it out. We'll come back to. Oh, we're gonna miss the drum circle. <laughs> uh, you know, you'll hear it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're leading with Madden anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna. This is sort of a known quantity that they're doing this story what are you, mode. What are you trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, Need for Speed. It's still montage. Yeah. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, we're gonna come back in on this hotness. Can you hit 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 the live button? There's a lower left Abby is a thing that says live. Click that. Wait. All right, long check. There we're gonna go. be a Spike Jones thing. Or? Like a story Spike lead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Spike, Spike Jones story mode would be <laughs> pretty <laughs> good too. Tell you, Oliver Stone, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> yes, the that's handsome android that runs EA. <laughs> and I might be biased, but I'm pretty sure that's the most innovative Madden we've done in well over a decade. I wouldn't Welcome know. I don't play since Madden '97. <laughs> Coming to you, Bring the whole the year This is our second year at EA Play. Last year we went out on a limb, tried to do something a little different with a view to changing the way you interact with products before they launch. We got everyone high. <laughs> something that put the games in your hands earlier, and it showed us how much further we can go. E3 As booths see, are a lot of money, and we said, what if we here. spent that money anywhere right else? <laughs> this is going to be where it all goes <laughs> down over year? the no. next three days. Playing, creating, and sharing. Are those influencers? Well, yeah, they're influencers. Yeah, they're, 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 they're influencers. They're think influencers, please. please. We want more of you to be able to experience this moment. For thousands of in Hollywood this week, we have hundreds of stations for hands-on gameplay. And for tens of millions of you out there joining online from across the world, you won't hear it just from us. You'll hear it from players, right here. They're here to see new things, to ask questions, They're here to, to get challenge viral. us, <laughs> to tell us what they like and especially what they don't. They're gonna connect with each other and create content and of course, Dropping They're going to play as many games as they possibly can. Uh, so let's set the stage for what we'll do over yeah. the next hour and a bit. We're going to go Those are all the games that are possible. Okay. There are six games <laughs> that you can make. Man versus man, man versus animal. innovation and stories that will pull you in. Two years ago, we launched Star Wars Battlefront. And we got a lot of feedback. <laughs> Some of it was good. <laughs> a lot Some of it positive. And a bunch of it constructive. That's a euphemism that for face? not as positive. So today we're going to bring you he's 30 minutes of yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. He smiled. <laughs> what you'll see it all is takes we've all of They the finally feedback. installed the emotions track. <laughs> and gone even further. We've got a mix of everything here for you. A look at new IP, some killer new trailers, demos, and a bunch of live gameplay. This is going to be a lot of fun. And it should be, right? Because we're all here for one simple reason. All of us share Shareholder price. one <laughs> fundamental belief. This and away. that's that games are the best form of entertainment on the planet. It's like a real long open. Like somebody's yeah. behind the scenes going like... <laughs> they <laughs> connect just, just like just nothing else. Just, just, dudes they holding bring the drums together no, across the city. We need to get him out of here. Just they good. inspire us. They ignite the fires of competition inside us. Games allow us to do <laughs> like extraordinary <laughs> things. <laughs> And to be extraordinary, or maybe they're just not going to talk at all for the rest of it. Games enable us to be our most creative selves. 
whether that's as, as game makers trying to pioneer new ways to play, or players Do you think Mass Effect each gets mentioned once at any point during this? Those words nope. will be said next to each other at some point. Nope, nope, nope. Games put the power of play in our hands to do with it what we want and to make it our own. So let's celebrate. For the next three days, we're here to celebrate play with all of you. And what better place to start than with a game that has taken the world by storm, Battlefield 1. There's, yeah, there's more than 20 million <laughs> Battlefield 1 players out there today. Well. And they've got a lot to share about a revolution that's coming to this great franchise. So let's jump to Battlefield right from the creative heart of EA Play. We added World War II. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Plays are hot. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Galata, producer for Battlefield 1 at our DICE studio right here in LA. I'm Dude, standing Lottie inside the Creator know what to do. Cave at Fire EA Play. Where you Live from the Creator Cave! <laughs> content to share with players it's a little stinky world. in here, but... It's unbelievably rewarding to see more than 20 million players embracing the game. Crafting their <laughs> own doesn't want to turn around. No. Only Don't. I think they told him explicitly <laughs> not to. Do not turn around. <laughs> hey, Noob, I got, I got some questions to ask you. Uh, okay. boy. What is it about the Battlefield well, franchise that's so later. special <laughs> and appealing to you? Penny, sit down. The thing I find special about Battlefield is teamwork. I'm not good at shooting. Sometimes I like to repair or heal or hide. <laughs> what, uh, what was that? Oh, okay. It was the noob. All right. Okay. Man, you're young. Who oh, are you? Did you see that wolf? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, as ours are millennial representative, I have no idea who any of these people are. Everyone in this community I mean, you've heard of sitting on there. A third of the human population <laughs> has their own streaming channel now, so it's hard to keep track. That we've already had. That's Epic Brian. Okay. No way. Was mich an Battlefield begeistert ist, die Bandbreite an Dingen, die ich in das Team spiele. Yeah. Right, that's somebody else. Yeah. That guy was an Anthrax. Das sixth and four man army that just does massive crazy things. I have made so many amazing friends. Oh, that's Dink Karen. Love her. Wait, no, they messed it up. A whole lot of people together. We will squad up and go and tear it up. Squad. Has anybody recognized any of these people? Nope. No. Okay. I watched sure. like a fair amount of Twitch stuff too. Okay. But yeah, you know, I'm I, I'm not watching Battlefield streams. Right. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't though. I've heard of the Jack Frags. Yeah. Yeah, so he I've is, heard, yes, he I've has heard done partnerships with EA in the past. What fuck was that shark thing? I'll never be it was that famous shark from World War I. You don't remember? Now let's talk about my favorite vape flavor! <laughs> <laughs> it's coupon code in the description below. Be sure to mash on that button and get these vapes! <laughs> he just disabled a moving truck with a grenade while jumping off a horse. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, God. We love Incredible. these only in Battlefield moments, and we want even Sky. more of them. So we're bringing every word of that sentence just like <laughs> I can't believe Night I'm up here doing this. Yeah. I can't believe it isn't butter. In Neville Knights, Unbelievable. All right. You need to deploy guys like maps? tactics as you fight I through do. the night in a massive network of trenches. Second, I'm excited to announce a major revolution in Battlefield 1. We're bringing epic Aliens. battles to the eastern front of World War 1. In oh. the name of the Tsar, expands Battlefield 1 to the blistering oh, winter. Like a lightsaber, or is that just some like weird? This yeah, lightsaber. Light light okay. This front Mace Windu? of World yep. War One, and with it, oh, Tsar we're bringing you oh, yeah. six okay. new maps. Damn it. The Russian army, the table. including the mighty Hussar <laughs> cavalry, new vehicles <laughs> Sweat. and weapons to expand your arsenal. To be fair, the Eastern the Front actually sounds like kind of a cool place to take that stuff. Sure. Finally. We're introducing a that engine game is play really great. That's a great looking progression game. Mm -hmm. and operations. So you can really stuff, I bet bring really really like Russian sadness. New yeah. assignments, mm -hmm. the ability to tailor your playstyle with specializations, and new multi-battle experiences woven through the Whispering. fan favorite game mode operations. All of this coming in September as part of In the Name of the Tsar. Oh, the spiky helmet. And for the next three days, yeah. yes, yeah. the okay. Lovecal Pass map from In the Name of the Tsar is right here at EA Play. For those of you tuning in, you'll get a glimpse of it. It's like from these Bob guys Ross was telling you about the World soon. War One. <laughs> so there you have it. Shooter. Eight new maps in total. We're just gonna, yeah. we're we're just gonna up the paint a happy little cloud of mustard gas over right over there. <laughs> Fantastic. There's never been a better time to be part of the Battlefield community. Now enough of me. Everyone says yes. that. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's always saying there's never been a better time. Never been a better time, really. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Am I, is that good? Wait, do you get to play as Lennon is in this? a Batman trailer? <laughs> in the Fuck, I hope so. The Bolsheviks yes. took over Tsar Nicholas II. Right? They poisoned his family, right? They, they shot them. Right? They sh okay. They like act like they're going to pose for a photo yes. and kill them all or yes. something? Yeah. They're gonna do it uh, Battlefront style, and like you'll you'll get a special perk that lets you play as Rasputin. Okay, <laughs> right. coming back to life. Yep. It is a really good looking it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you you have Battlefield family. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Some, some of my family served in Battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> Are they into this? Uh, we <laughs> they, everybody switched to Siege. <laughs> at some point, huh. yeah. like just kind of got off a of battlefield. I think something about it was it because of the World War One stuff. I, or? I think it might have been they didn't like the weapons and stuff like yeah. that. The Hi everyone, old guns. I have the privilege of leading our global development oh. teams. Oh, that guy. Six thousand of the most creative people making truly One amazing mic, experiences, mic. including tall. Battlefield One. <laughs> back now up this mic. summer is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. So much new content, so much oh, more to play, turn and so on. many new ways to play. And there's one more thing we'll bring to Battlefield. Later this year, we're going to give you a new competitive Battlefield experience. Finally. We've heard you. You want a smaller, Set an tighter operation experience Desert focused School. on team play. You want all-out war built for competition. And you want it accessible to players and to viewers. And it's coming. I can't wait to share more with you guys at Gamescom in August. Now, competition is at the center of EA today. And we've always thought about it a little differently. Is he the new chief competitive officer? We believe in making stars of all our players. Guys, I love esports. Let, let me tell you something really cool. Last month, I was watching an amazing competitor, Shouts. Mm -hmm. He made it to the FUT Championship The what? I'm sorry, the what championship? Uh, the, uh, Six months ago, this guy was an unknown. Uh, now he's a worldwide uh, star. Fa? And he'll be the worldwide competing fuck champion. the best <laughs> FIFA interactive worldwide yeah, I can final see it. in August. <laughs> Cool photo. Now, we want to find more stars, so we're doubling down in competition in ways only EA can. This fall, we're launching the largest FIFA championship ever. Oh, I love FIFA! That guy's the all best soccer! He's about to go Super <laughs> Saiyan. And in our soccer official Saiyan. football league competition... <laughs> yeah, he was able to kick the seven Dragon Balls into the goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you can. We'll have much more to share, including our Madden plans later this summer. Madden plans. As developers, your passion is what fuels <laughs> Top us. Your stories Madden inspire plans. us, and competition like nothing else brings them to life. It's getting ready to play arms. <laughs> Sports! <laughs> That's cool, yeah. Anything happens in this tournament, at least he has that. Will you see even one shot of first basketball? Time. This is my first time. Yes. I just thought maybe this is something I could do. So many good players. Does FIFA sell well here? Like yeah, it does. Not as well as it does in Europe and right. Canada, but it does. It does well here. I've got and a lot of friends like, who. That's their only game. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, they're supposed to be good, right? Like oh people yeah. Like no, them. FIFA yeah, got they, good they, a while ago. Been okay. Very good. I'm told. They've generally been pretty consistent. As a soccer uh, expert, I can tell you two things. One, FIFA is good. Two, there's eleven guys on the field. Yeah. Eleven. Is this a person? Scrum? Scrim? What did Danny Scrum? say? No, that's, yes. that's rugby. Okay. Yeah. Scrim. Shrimp. No, oh, oh, shit! Yeah. Yeah. They Ooh, love salty salt. esports. I think there was talk a lot, like, a couple weeks ago that they were looking to bring back something. Because they did those Madden Challenge, Madden Championships, oh, whatever yeah. they were. Yeah. So, uh, that they were trying to do that again. I think one of the issues with that is the same dude kept winning it over and over and over again. The Golden State Warriors of Madden. Yeah. <laughs> But then he got bad. <laughs> Michael Scumbo is not a real name, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at him. This is real as <laughs> yes. Classic Scumbo. <laughs> is it Scumbo or Skimbo? <laughs> that's, that's you tell me. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> One day we can know. I'll know in the finals when I face off against him. Yeah, sorry, no. Based on my Madden skills, that absolutely could not be me. <laughs> Apparently nobody. I like the idea of a Madden wrestling belt. Yeah, though. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. A tripling down, huh? Do Boba Fett have you know, the sports belts? block. Sure. Kinda. Did it? Not sorta. Not really. Is this the hot chip <laughs> music video for? Don't. This gave like six different answers. <laughs> <laughs> there is a metal thing that could go on a belt, I guess. No, I mean, if oh, something goes yeah, around the waist, you, you yeah. could yeah. definitely could, mount it on a belt. Put, you could put that thing on a belt. Sure. Okay. It's a plate. Yeah. Okay. 
Where's Pele? Give me Pele. Uh, so, uh, 14 minutes until Pele. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they got Ronaldo. Ronaldo is not Pele. Is he a soccer man? Yes, Ronaldo is a sco soccer man. Is he's like a, he's like a Pele guy. No, it's oh, Ronaldo Pele soccer. Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> Ronaldo soccer. Okay. That was Ronaldinho. Dino. Ronald, Ronaldinho is a different guy. What? Is he a soccer man? Yes. Okay. There are a lot of soccer men. Also, to be I fair. think there are two. I Ronaldos, understand that there right? are at least eleven per I think, team. <laughs> I think there are multiple Ronaldos actually, right? Whoa. I think there's like just Ronaldo. And then, and then like Ronaldo plus there's only one Ronaldo at any given dark time. Dark evil Ronaldo. Yeah, You're speaking about my pig right now. <laughs> oh, violent Ronaldo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beef has got too many fucking Shotos in it as it is, man. Come on. They gave Ronaldo a teleport and it just broke the game. Yeah. <laughs> what? Is this, is soccer, this soccer? Is this, this ska? Are these influencers? This is ska. Are we getting an Fuck, ad? Yeah. Dan, this is ska. This is ska and influencers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know Seth Myers. Influencer Seth Myers. What's happening here? Why is Kevin Bacon there? <laughs> Kevin Bacon is uh, doing Terry a Wally Arms thing. I don't know. What is Terry Groose did the second half of the Creators Cave? <laughs> What's happening? Is this, this an ESPN this show? These guys coming out. What's going on? Oh, God. We're the men in blazers. You know, those guys you know and love. Ah, uh, they fake Are they wacky? The high five. Oh, they're wacky guys. Okay. I mean, they're wearing jeans and blazers. They've got to be wacky. Yeah. No, they're not wacky. They're we cheap. Okay. They missed oh, a yeah. really yeah. Some of you will know us as the hosts of one of the top three most popular football shows ever to be produced in the panic room and the crap part of Soho. That is true. Somehow, we convince world leaders like Will Ferrell to come talk to us about the fifth best sport in the world. They remind me of a worse Squad Brothers. We've tricked them all, Davo. <laughs> yeah. And the common thread for us is always football and FIFA. And when I speak to players around the world, they all tell me their experience with FIFA runs so deep. Is FIFA still all corrupt? The way they <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, deeply. Art influencing life. It's game. all melding together. Rog, look at this. Look at how the world's game comes to life in FIFA 18. Player personality. That How are you guys going to go back to your soccer show and be like open and honest with your feelings about the Raheem soccer Sterling now that you've come out here and talk about how this is the best thing you've ever looked at ever? <laughs> <laughs> ability to suavely part, fly past all defenders and so suave. And these atmospheres, Rog, take a look at this. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah, there's people the there. Remember when they had like Pele and Lil Wayne, Wayne and, you know, just like people you were like, Rog, okay. No, but it's influencers, Jeff. All about influencers. I definitely feel like I'm being influenced. Yeah, Kobe Bryant one year, and he super seemed Cristiano like he didn't want to be there. Oh, yeah. Ronaldo, could Sounds you right. Get anyone Can you blame him? Yeah. That? that man doesn't have a six pack. He's got an eight pack. You're right. And EA Sports knows We've got the one way pack. to make Cristiano wow. <laughs> is to jam him in spandex and capture his data. That beautiful man. material killed He's at an open mic at the Curry restaurant. Champion of Europe, yeah. the La Liga title, yeah. belong to all winner, yeah. literally every I mean, they have good energy. Yeah. yeah, this is their dry run for Gamescom. Don't worry about it. This is, uh, they're just... <laughs> he has hair, Roger. But as huge as Ronaldo, it would help if the audience was last year. Yeah. Like, like, if they had yeah. any mics on the audience yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, that would well, feel like. But also, like, would the, is the audience even? They're, they're probably like. I, I heard some some I laughter. Know, I have no like, idea who these guys are. No, Rod. Like, I think last the year, story I'm pretty sure they simulcast like from. Uh, Europe, didn't they do their the FIFA oh, yeah, yeah, with the crowd yeah, yeah. from there? And it was like really excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a tough Alex sell, I think, here. Yeah. More than 360 yeah, million they've tried so many different ways. I mean, literally, fucking, oh, wow. here's Lil Wayne talking to you about how much he really one. likes FIFA. <laughs> like, that's probably, the, in a lot of ways, their best shot. Like, here's Drake <laughs> yeah. talking yeah. FIFA. Like, okay, I like Drake. Yeah, they did do that. Yeah. Like, Alex Hunter. you wish your soccer game had more crying? This is what happens when you institute a no weed policy at your event. You can't get those people to show up again. Yeah, that's true. These guys have definitely never smoked weed. Just well, I don't know. No, I mean they've done like lewds, but yeah. No, they were popping bennies backstage. Right away into, is it Sil Sylvia? What's the Sal 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 Salvia? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they are fucking flying high on Salvia right now. <laughs> Salvia. It's gonna be a good YouTube video later. They're gonna crush any though. Filled with victory, defeat, glory, and conflict. Dreams come true and challenges that lie ahead. What's Salvia doing? So. Everyone uh, wants to know what is, is next for our man Alex okay. <sighs> I don't know, Dave. Oh, but it seems like everyone's He's got Nightwolf, an opinion. Right? Yep. Okay. He's a Nightwolf. And that's our bit. There is one.
question on everybody's lips. What next for Hunter? Everyone's hunting Hunter. Yeah. Hunter. What do you guys think next for Hunter? Oh, Hunter, uh, you know, he's just going to keep the new guys down and, uh, you know, sell it's a great, uh, merch. Great TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Hunter the Hungry right is going to eat. The right and he'd probably be lucky to have it. Alex Hunter is in the media every day. And this is a real guy or the FIFA guy? Yeah. Because I, I think they're... Oh, is this like their story mode or something? Oh, is this like their story mode or the exact same thing? If this is their, like... Like, did they just do all this for this bit? Yeah. This is their protagonist, right? He's a beast. Yeah, Remember Fight Night Champion? They did that with boxing, and it was actually really good, and no one talked about it. Yeah, I love that story mode. You think there's a new Fight Night ever? I mean, maybe someday. No one cares about boxing right yeah, now. Yeah, but no one cares. No, so exactly. Good, no one cares yeah. about boxing. At the end, he plays soccer against a ghost. It's fucking <laughs> Crazy. I don't mean to spoil it, but <laughs> <laughs> wait, he returns. I mean, he's wait, still playing soccer. <laughs> oh, no. What up, guys? Thank you for having me, EA. If you guys all know who I am, my name is Jesse Wellens, and I am a YouTube creator. So I am here to talk about Mine. Need for Speed. How come okay. His, how come his Twitter handle is Jesse Wellens? I don't spend a lot of time uh, using if teleprompters. You guys didn't know Need for Speed Payback. I'm bu um. Live. Oh no. Yeah, it's a great game. But all right. Oh, I'm all so sorry. Oh, I'm a YouTube bad. creator. Deep Speed Payback. It's coming out. I got my boy Marcus. Exactly. So YouTube creators don't here. go live a lot. Yeah. I, guess. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a huge crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so like, I would do worse hey, than him. This yeah. guy is yeah. probably like a um, super a nice, genuine player. dude. Yeah. And, like, here, I feel like his teleprompter. We got his teleprompter. Yeah. That we broke. There are no smash cuts. He rolled up one sleeve and then crossed his arms. I feel really bad. Cartel that rules the city as casinos, criminals, and cops, and that is delivering. We're delivering a brand new experience. With wild heist missions, oh, intense cop pursuits, <laughs> grueling car battles, thing. and jaw dropping sleeve. action oh, moments. Oh, it can't be his no thing. Longer it's like you know how when you ride a bike and you only roll up yeah. one hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. We are putting you he rides his bike with his hands <laughs> on the pedals. <laughs> so, Need for Speed has been around for a long time. There's been a lot of new things coming to the game. I just think it's really weird. Like, I, I'm a YouTube creator. Let's talk about Need for Speed, a game that is not like a game that you would stream or like stream a ton of. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's changing. Style to the game. You drive across city, mountains, deserts, and canyons in the most diverse open world ever made for a Need for Speed game. Yes, There's guys, a lot of great new world. elements in this game, but also obviously a lot of fundamentals like customization. We go way deeper when it comes to visual, perform visual, visual and performance customizations, as well as introducing something on top Boy, of that. Boy, this kind of looks like the crew, huh? Relics, yeah. Which are mm. abandoned classic cars that you transform into scrap. To be fair, if the Need for Speed team got a crack at making something Speed like the crew, that well, might actually yeah. be pretty all right. One of the coolest things well, about the crew was the way the cars changed. It and like, that is cool. Like the cool, like weird, bolt built up looks. Um, like, that was really neat. You a better cartographer on set, Yeah, probably. At 1.30 on the stream if you want to come back. But enough talking about it. I'm trying to see it. Yeah, you know. You know Shut the fuck up. Unbelievable. <laughs> Please get me off the yeah. stage. <laughs> uh, one of the blockbusters from Need for Speed Payback called the Highway Heist that shows that intense action driving experience. It's a wide variety so let's of turn hand around things. and mm. take a look. Check out my DJ set tonight. He found it. He found it. I mean, that's all about man. YouTube, right? It's like. Yep. Yeah. It looks kind of like a takedown. Zero to sixty in two point seven seconds. That's very fast. We intercept, then grab the cargo. It'll be part of a convoy. What are you saying? Something's gonna go Quick wrong. Run. Get me closer. I, think I think something's gonna go wrong. What do you think? You think he's gonna betray them? I think there's gonna be some payback. Wait, Wait he's so angry about his revenge thing, he actually got a custom license plate that says payback. <laughs> can't you have seven letters? You can have seven letters on a yeah, custom plate. Right? Why wouldn't they spell the whole Someone already word? had it with yeah. seven letters. <laughs> Is that the guy you're trying to take down? Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> you're trying to get payback <laughs> on him. Yeah, it's, yes. it's Mel Gibson. It's a double cross, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll frame you there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. Burnout. That doesn't look so bad. All right. That's a takedown. You need that. That's gotta be yeah, gameplay, I mean, They're right? trying to yeah. like, yeah, make this look like a gameplay thing. But yeah. It was, uh, yeah. Do we take down, take down that semi truck? We oh. need stump position or uh, grab harpoons? Yeah, harpoons Cut for scenes. sure. It's the EMP things from Too Fast Too Furious. 
Damn it, somehow my car wasn't strong enough to take down a fucking semi truck. Can you spy hunter into the back of it? This looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, this isn't bad at all. I'm so in. This looks nice. I mean, that wouldn't be game right? More house cars headed your way. I hope it has that slowdown Wait, stuff. That looks really cool. Wait, what's blowing up? Cars. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. Gasoline. Uh, okay. Is somebody this shooting really rockets cool. at you? It's like a deck of 52 thing. They've got like ace of spades. I saw the, the spade logos, but I'm not sure what that no. means. You have to take out these enforcers before you get to the, no, like, get back to the, part, the, truck. the truck part. Your son watching Benny Hall. <laughs> that civilian. Ooh. Oh, that was pretty good. I mean, they really are leaning on that looking a lot like the takedown camera from Burnout. Yeah. 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 I've been playing a decent amount of Paradise, and like this is very, very, very Burnout. Guys, Except you're not building your boost meter. Yeah. Really bad you gotta get the NOS up there. Near misses. Get up on his right. Where's DJ? What's his name? Do it. Happens to be a giant ladder on the side of this truck. Very convenient. How else are you gonna get on the roof of the truck? What's the Turley Sheen movie with the Red Hot Chili Peppers? The Chase or something? The Chase. And he has sex in the it's car. And, yeah. great movie. The Chase the is great. Chase yeah. Is great you got this? One of Christy Swanson's finest. Yeah. Oh, sick. They left the keys in it. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of looks funny. Awesome. Yeah, Damn. the whole thing of gas. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a good sequence to show. This is very fast and furious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you look at like what you're doing though, and, and, That's and how it kind of goes in and out, like it, the gameplay doesn't look that different. You know, you're yeah. kind of taking out these enforcers and doing some stuff. But, but it's well directed. Yeah, totally. Wait. Oh, I thought she was going to into the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. She transforms into a helicopter. And I'm suddenly super. Oh, I can bring the helicopter out to as well talk. As it looks. Yeah. Last year at EA Play, we unveiled EA Originals. The program was something we created to support small independent studios to help bring experiences that are unique, gorgeous, innovative, and memorable to the world. Just like me. We are partnering with game creators through the process from development to marketing to publishing. But EA Originals is also about I really thought he said game trailers I for a second so there, too. Okay. They're partnering with game trailers. <laughs> <laughs> what? When these games go back Hang on. To the hands of the developers. How long ago did you sign that deal? We have been we overwhelmed <laughs> with the indie community's reaction to this. I can tell you, we've received hundreds of pitches, many of them brilliant. And as a result, we now have several new titles in development. Today, I want to introduce you to our next EA Originals title, one that I've been very close to from the beginning. This game tells the story in an entirely new way. Now, a few years ago, I played the indie hit, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, with my oldest daughter. I loved how different the game felt. The mechanics and storytelling were really cool, and we both loved the emotional story. So I decided to contact the, the game's or creator, they, Joseph Farris. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When we met, we It'll instantly realized we shared the same passion for games and how to bring new experiences to players. I also found out that he was building a new studio called Hate's Light. Now, we're thrilled to be working with Joseph to bring his new project to all of you. What started out as a wild idea on paper has now turned into a groundbreaking, <coughs> one-of-a-kind game called A Way Out. Take a look. What's your plan? Oh yeah, this got teased, right? Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah, there's a teaser video that's been out yeah. there for a while. Yeah. Is that a prison game? There's some real good facial hair happening here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guy reminds me of that comedian with the weird voice. Oh, God. Is this whole thing Jim Carrey? Prison? That sounds awesome. I have good resources to bust out of here, but I need to get out of here, too. Yeah? He was like in everything in the problem. 2000s. Oh, man. Co-op prison break. That sounds... That's not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Right. Brothers, the button prison. Oh, oh wow. awesome! Oh my god. Looks like that's what this is. This looks like so much fun. This kind of owns. Wow. I'll go first. Oh, crap! You okay? We start the checkpoint. <laughs> the other guy goes first this time. This is gonna be like Fled. Should Brothers talk? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Remember Fled? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Fled's great. No, Fled's not great. Fled is great. Stop. 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 Wait, how far does well, this go? Well, it looks like he made it out of prison. <laughs> This looks really nice. Like this yeah. Style. She's my daughter too. 
Okay. See? Problem solved. Come on, Leo! It's flat. Now that's brothers. <laughs> Do you think he makes it? No. no. That's, no. The, end of the, that's the end of the game. That's like, a really cool trailer. That was sweet. Yeah, it looks like he good. found his <laughs> way out. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> establishes the premise there. When's that coming out? Hold on. Maybe we'll find out. Hey. My name hey. is Joseph Varis, Faris, <laughs> and I'm the right <laughs> director <laughs> of A Way Out. I'm so excited to be here and show you the game. So, after I finish Brothers, looks like I both want those to make two characters. Yes, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. 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 A little bit. I tell stories <laughs> without compromising on gameplay. And this is the reason why I started His Light Studios He just does the Tarantino thing and self-inserts wherever he can and into his work. <laughs> he is original There's a lot of feet stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom and trust from EA to deliver the game we truly believe in, and that is very important for his life. Let me tell you that. So the idea for a way out came to me when me and a friend Broke tried to prison. find a co-op <laughs> game that wasn't just a drop-in, drop-out experience. I wanted to play a game where the characters had the unique art. personalities and goals. A game where me and a friend can embark on an emotional journey together, and this is exactly what a way out is. The game is designed for split-screen co-op only, and I mean only. Huh. So you hmm. will be able to play huh. it online, but to get the full experience and feel, we want you and your friend to play it in your couch. In my and couch. gameplay-wise, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, couch is nice, right? Action! What's here for couches? <laughs> yeah. A lot of couches in the and audience. Fuck the couch! Oh, Who's on fans? Yeah, I'm a okay, seat. wait, it's coming to me. <laughs> Uh, We're just gonna ah, come on. <laughs> Gameplay wise, play. it's gonna oh. be crazy. There's gonna be a huge amount of variation. It's, you're gonna be able you to play camera, everything. You need connect, I mean, hold a couch up to a lot of stuff. For a really long yeah. time, I was trying to figure out why it said hashtag uh, ear play in the top action. right. Ah, so you <laughs> to I realized. This game. No. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> this it's is so my kind of unscripted but presentation where he's clearly just riffing. It's good. Yeah, he seems really good. A way out. I will tell you, you will play a co op game like never before. I know, I, I mean, I can guarantee that. I know I sound very cocky, but I can't help it because it's true. <laughs> so like yeah, that's great. Do you guys, do you guys want no, this I game? I'm going to check with my manager <laughs> in the back room. Hold on a second. I think I can get you a good price on this one. <laughs> so right now... I'm uh, he says i got to give it to you retail. I'm gonna show you, this you want the undercoating? Of the game, but still, you're going to get blown away. And I also want to say that I'm so proud and happy to be part of this industry. It's crazy how fun it is to be here and do these games. It's so much fun. <laughs> And also, one last thing, one last thing. I want to say hello to my Hazelight team watching live from Sweden. Sure. Thank you, goodbye, hop shaky, boom, come on. What? what was the Let's all break out of prison together, all right. Did you say hump shaker? <laughs> what? He said all he wants to do is zoom, 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 and <laughs> break out of prison. Co-op game. It is designed, played, and experienced only in split-screen co-op. I really Which like means that idea. you have yeah. to play the game with a friend, either online or on your couch. I wonder if that's if yeah. So I wonder if that's like oh, this scene needs more space, so you're going to be pushed over. Like if that's part of the story. Right? Yeah, I mean if you're dynamically designing the the you know this like cinematography around yeah. that, that's that's awesome. Very close to me. With or without you, I'm going after him. Let me show you some of the scenarios in the game. On the so right side, off and you like see Leo, war. who's already in prison. On the left, you see Vincent, who just arrived. Now, if you look to the right again, you can see that Leo can be controlled, while Vincent is in a cutscene. Oh, cool. Here is another one. Vincent and Leo are now in the laundry room. Hard Your goal is to smuggle sheets <laughs> yeah. using sure. the laundry room. Yes. Yeah. You can approach the scenario in different ways. Yeah. Either you can clock with actor. Vincent. No, I got a good pack right here. You're not just thinking that he's half-baked where he goes to prison, right? <laughs> no. Okay. He kind of looks like him with the nose uh, and the yeah. long face. I don't know. Have you seen Rocket Man? Or yeah. with Leo. Okay. Well, he starts in the suit and he gets real Yeah, but I think those two guys are just about to fight. Uh, what the? What? Who's him? In a yeah, way that's very out, convincing. Yeah, yeah, great acting. You all the time. Everything you do in the game oh, is unique so for cool. that scene. Yeah. We want you and your friend to be focused and engaged throughout the entire story. I need but to make a friend. This is just <laughs> the beginning <laughs> of what you will be experiencing in a way out. I've been trying to play this game with a random player. It would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find someone on Tinder to come play with us. <laughs> <laughs> Task Rabbit. <laughs> Man, I got this. I'll play this with Max. 
my five-year-old son. Yeah. Dude, we're breaking out. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, a forced co-op is one of those things that'll be hard to some people. To, you know, I know, I know. Me again. Really play it, you know. But um, that, thank you, Joseph. I that mean, game I, is I, I going cool. for it. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Uh, now let's switch gears for just a minute. I wonder if that's playable It's here. great to be mm. here showing you the games you'll play this year. <coughs> I don't think so. But at the same time, we are Any inspired speed, to probably? look forward. this year, right? I think that is, yeah. Creative ideas combined with new technologies become an unstoppable force. We have teams today taking technologies that are changing the world and using them to change the way we play. <laughs> These are the futurists, the incubators, our talented artists, designers, and engineers within our studios. You're just going to start talking about HD Our <laughs> our digital platform oh. team, and a new research division called SEED. What motivates me every day is the responsibility we have to push our industry forward. That logo looks really familiar. That's one reason we created this new division. Yeah. SEED yeah. is a small, stealthy team that I work with Thank on a you. daily basis, exploring some of our most visionary concepts, like deep learning or neural networks, it says creating a world for you to define, oh, to interact man. with, and share as you wish or virtual, virtual humans with deeply sophisticated artificial Okay, this intelligence. is the presentation you give at the beginning so of a Mirror's Edge a or Syndicate game, <laughs> like when you're establishing the evil corporation and the weird shit they're up to. Mm -hmm. shaped by you. <coughs> TED Talk. That's just the beginning of how we can blur reality and the digital world. Go anywhere, share your but discoveries, also, like, it's be one anyone. thing to say this. I'm like, the we got a team thinking about the, all the crazy shit that's going on. Now, what we know but today is so that interacting with the team yeah. will change more in the next five years than it has in the last 45. That's bold. Together, we are building that future. No more games. <laughs> One need for Speed is getting into self-driving cars. And, full of play. <laughs> and to do that, we also need innovative new platform technology. So when we were thrilled got when we got our first here. project, yeah, Scorpio Dev Kits from Microsoft, yeah. huh. six Jeez. teraflops Underslam. and true 4K graphical fidelity. Now, these MAD and LF NFL 18 visuals are just a taste of what can be accomplished combining frostbite. Uh -huh. Look at those stripes. <laughs> and and stripes. already, we are creating the most detailed, high resolution environments you've ever seen on a console. Madden looks absolutely stunning. Seeing you're raising the price of your awesome games. graphics and effects <laughs> are just the beginning. The game has to feel amazing as well. Cyber Charlie Tiger Scorpio 2 is going to feature AI, AI. <laughs> Tiger Woods, it's going to blow your mind. Now, Check out this I have one more shot. thing before yeah. I go. New IP is one of the purest forms of innovation in our industry. A brand new idea combined with the latest tech and a vision for something extraordinary. The next game will push every boundary for you. It is vast, dangerous, beautiful, and unexpected. Star Wars. So, so this is just the first the tease Bioware, that we're showing you today. Then we will have so much more oh, two, in the Microsoft press conference <laughs> tomorrow, so don't miss that. But for now, here's the first glimpse of our brand new IP from BioWare. There it is. Yeah, please cut off the crowd before Whoa. we hear any excitement whatsoever. How <laughs> many blood on the sand? 50 cent. Oh, okay, it's him in his garage. <laughs> yeah. I, I forget the name of the right. studio. Right, yeah, sorry. It's our yeah, Lloyd Banks is the creative director. <laughs> It protects us from what lies beyond. But out there, Iron Man. Iron Man. The Destiny. You make. It's weird that we're still like making trailers and stuff or that have the ball. Yeah, but that's <laughs> still. Do, 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 do. It still tests well. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's, whatever. It's effective. It's just haze. The story Anthem. doesn't end here. It's just the beginning. Mm, huh. Okay. Healthcare just got extra serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Hey, it. everybody. I'm Sean O'Brien. Hey, I'm here today <laughs> to share the latest of <laughs> the Live 18 with you. But instead of talking about it, I'd like to show you. I'm the new Hoop God. Completely overhauling virtually every aspect of gameplay. Fair enough. Come on and slam. Now we're gonna go outside to a hands-on Please enjoy this jam. Check out some of those improvements. Didn't they put the wrong Twitter handle for the Hoop God last year? More details about how NBA Live 18 introduces an entirely new way to play a basketball game. There's two of them now. We call it the one. Gibbs, Connor, over to you. 
Thank you, Sean. You look fantastic every single time I see you. We are here out at FanFest EA Play. I want to see everyone on social. Use that hashtag EA Play. Come okay. I just want to get on social. Like, this guy is like, thing this happening is, here. This is also this guy's WWE backstage announcer tryout video. <laughs> no one better in the business. Finn Balor, you got a little four way coming up tonight. Oh, the social media lounge here with Finn Balor. First look, NBA Live 18. Yeah, what's up? I mean, I'm super excited that people finally get to get Todd Howard looks different. So the guy from Always Sunny? Yeah. We just got. Q and I were playing. I'm controlling LeBron, LeBron, Q's controlling KD. Let's take a look. Get all these angles in here. I want to see right. the sweat. All right. So what we're looking at So we at have to play this on the smallest I'm monitor possible <laughs> so that no one gets I'm too back. close to look at it. Can we get some more glare on it? Behind the back, between the legs. Turn on a couple now lights. The there, we yeah, there we go. But KD or Q cuts me off. With this is already the unrealistic because... And then I try to go back at him again. This time KD the Warriors don't have possession. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Tan. Q's late. <coughs> hit his left stick, he missed the timing yet? window, no. and now they I have an open lane to the hoop. No, they, it's 3-1. Three 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 to one. It's 3-1. Uh, right okay. Tell me he finishes strong. He does Tell me he finishes strong. strong. I use my right stick to finish the with paint? the paint. He's in the paint, right? Yes, he's yes, in the paint. In okay. the paint. Okay. I feel like this game's right, moving a little slow. Maybe it's just me. I believe this is a replay. Oh! Nice tight shot. The crowd reacts wildly. A <laughs> really weird way to James show this and I yeah, endorse this product and service. That was really oh. weird. Clap. Thank you. We're excited. It took two years to make to that. <laughs> now we're just working on getting running full speed and adding more players. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy NBA Live 18 <laughs> in uh, 2021. So By the season pass to get access to more teams. To we're looking to get it out in two weeks. Jumpstart your own legacy through solo, co-op, and multiplayer experiences, and carry all of your progress. You have to over play to this on the couch with one other person. <laughs> Let's take a look at the one. Okay, NBA Live 18 is an all-new way to pursue your legacy. Like with the basketball Center finals you, happening right now, this seems like by the choices you make. You Welcome would show a little bit of gameplay. Unleashes the freedom. Live to play gameplay, how? right? Yeah, you would think. You Here, oh, maybe they will later. The respect but. you earn on the streets matters just as much as the rings you earn in the league. The NBA streets? Rise yeah, through NBA the ranks street. in the league. An authentic NBA experience where you dominate the hardwood on your way to winning championships. But the new NBA Live goes beyond the league, taking you into the streets where okay. the rules and how you earn respect are different. Team up with friends to take down NBA legends at historic courts like Venice Breakers? Beach. Huh. Throughout your journey, your on-court performance leads to increased skills and new gear as your height builds in both the streets and the league. From Venice cool. to Rucker Park and everywhere like, in between. If it still just plays like NBA Join Live, the yeah, three on thing. three, then that's Pick not games. like whatever. And Plus, yeah. they already made the perfect world, basketball course. RPG and shut up and jam guided. And continue yeah. to build your legacy in the Pro Am Tour. Earn the right to go head to head with the very best and show off your signature style. From East Coast to West Coast, from the streets to the league, everything you do matters. Your legacy is defined by you and how you choose to play. Scotty Pippen this will remember world. that. It's time for you. <laughs> what if I choose to play NBA 2K18? Does that still apply? Then the online won't work again oh. this year. Which path will you take? The broken online or maybe the broken everything? Well, look, we're hoping it's... <laughs> look, just hold... Mm. <laughs> Can I play a pickup game in North Korea with Dennis Rodman? <laughs> uh, isn't the path just to do well? I think, I think so. <laughs> you choose the choice, path. man. Well, choose well, the maybe, path. Okay. <laughs> maybe you just want to be a fucking journeyman. <laughs> maybe you want to be in the summer league for your yeah. entire career. Like, I, I'm just. I, maybe I missed the part of like the choice of like you do well on the street and also in. On the I want to be work, right? the yeah, world's dude. most badass but worst at basketball <laughs> power forward. Do the dungeons in any order. You can just bake bread, man. <laughs> you can just bake bread. <laughs> Except the commissioner's rules. Yeah, I, do not, do not play your own basketball <laughs> rules. It will not go well. <laughs> all right. Well, they're doing that. Cool. Thanks, guys. And thanks to all of the teams here sharing games today. And a special thanks to Joseph and Hazelight. How about that for some passion? <laughs> Time for Star Wars. Now, we've got a massive finale oh, coming up here in just a moment. 30 minutes of pure, unadulterated Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> We're showing the first 30 minutes of Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Whoa. Last week we did something pretty amazing together. It's a pretty good we 30 minutes. We held our annual yeah. EA Play to Give campaign, 
celebrating the importance of inclusion and play in our communities and in life. We partner with three outstanding charities, the United Nations He For She and anti-bullying organisations, the Pacer Centre and Ditch The Label. We... No? Okay. <laughs> what? No, we're, we're not supporting any of these charities. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. No, my no, bad. You're not, not, not going to clap for that? No. I, it says in the teleprompter you were going to. Please clap. <laughs> and here's where play comes in. All of you, our millions of players out there, joined us in support of inclusion. You came out in play in nine in-game challenges. And by coming together, we are showing the world what a positive force that games can be. And to thank you for that, we're opening ways for you to play a bunch of great games for free. Starting today for the rest of the week, Origin Access, as well as the Vault Jason, do you still have that? Are free. You still, you're not paying for that anymore? Four players okay. will also have a bunch of free trials <laughs> <Yes>. running all <laughs> week. We're talking FIFA, Madden, PVZ Garden Warfare 2, Star Wars Battlefront, and much more. I told you they weren't so going to say Mass Effect. Bring your friends. <laughs> I was going to say, this would be the spot for it. Yeah. While well, you're getting ready and excited. It's just like the very edge of the <laughs> prize. Yeah, yeah, they cut away. Yeah. <laughs> nope, it stopped. Do, we Garden bring Warfare you do well? Star Wars yeah, Battlefront that, 2. Yeah. I mean, they, they made a second one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this the half hour Star Wars block? Hey. Okay. It would probably is. He's a yes. Star Wars man. <laughs> One up, oh, a couple of them. That's not a great ratio. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Picked we need up. to see the reply number. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bet there's some really funny replies in there. Yeah. I want okay, a Twitter cool. client that makes all those noises <laughs> and, and displays like that. Yeah. yeah. That'd be all right. I don't know. For a guy okay. with as many followers oh, as John Boyega, yeah, I feel like that's actually not that many <laughs> shares. Just start shooting lasers in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, whoa! <laughs> We're real star troopers. <laughs> There's the new ones on the left and the old ones on the right, I think. Hello. <laughs> Are you evil? I'm Janina Gavon Carr. And I play Commander Aiden Versio, leader of the Inferno Squad in Star Wars Battlefront 2. All right, that's the protagonist of play, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. I'm also an advocate for in-depth cinema caliber story in- <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. That yeah, that's pretty good. I'm also an advocate of that, like I guess. a tweet heard around the world. It spoke for all of us. <clears throat> when can we play a Star Wars story? Without we having kids yelling at us, <laughs> right? A million times. What we want to do- All the three best Star Wars films. Phantom Menace. <laughs> untold story. A story that delivers new perspectives and enables us to play as some of our favorite Me? Star Wars characters while also like introducing C3PO. Yeah, what are your favorite Star Wars characters? That one's first. Yeah, that's C3PO right there. The best Star Wars characters. The fascists. Do you think it's a joke they would do Jar Jar if they're doing episode one stuff? Like in the hero mode? I would love that. That'd be great. The tutorial is just you playing as Jar Jar. And the Force Awakens. I'm, I'm, they are closing too many gaps. I, is it like that a two minute window now <laughs> between <laughs> like <laughs> those two movies? We During the Metal Gear thing. The previous Battlefront of 2015, but we wanted more. Star Wars Battlefront you, you 2 are in is this EA game. I, like I understand that you don't necessarily work for EA, but this Wii stuff content. is good. Yeah. We yeah. wanted yeah. that game. Like it just to be fair, she does play a lot of games. I bet she I bet she does. I bet she does. Now, like but it just this whole thing seems really weird with the return of skirmish. So I'm going to be cuddling up with someone playing me some Battlefront 2. Local co-op? In multiplayer. I think so. Yeah. There are more cool. heroes, more vehicles, more planets. I've been to some of them. More space no, battles and starfighter assault and deeper <coughs> progression and no, they customization do that. They film as well on other as yeah. content <laughs> from across oh, it's magic. all Idiot robots from Phantom Menace. What were those called? But oh, the like, like, pulled out of the thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars is not just <laughs> some yeah. checklist of great features. You play How does Diane Ward is one of the heroes. <laughs> The team at Dice in Stockholm has some of the most talented multiplayer designers cool. in Paint the world. Statues. And they've been working with the EA Game Changers to make None sure Star Wars Battlefront 2 has That's the multiplayer where we we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. Offsite. Game Changers... <laughs> hey, come on the offsite. Come on the offsite. ...because they're the best Battlefront players in the world, and then they get secretly flown out to so Stockholm. So we need, like, good levels As long as they provide valuable feedback, they get an early look at the game. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome program, and if I didn't track. suck at multiplayer, maybe I'd get... That guy looks like a fucking... 
That's true. Evil general for the <laughs> empire. Let's hear more from he them like about the their time Fallout at gang. <laughs> the tunnel snakes. Yeah. <laughs> After the release of Star Wars Battlefront 1, the community thought there should have been You know, more. the first Battlefront. And the good news is this, the developers have... <laughs> you can put that Star Wars music on anything and it'll look cool. I'm really excited to let the Game Changers get their hands on the game. This is going to stay, game right? Game Changers. The clean UI look is going to stay. There's still time to change this. It's not working. <laughs> a hard-hitting question. <laughs> you talk about these graphics a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Very candid. Oh my it's God. sweet. They flew us out my here for free and then asked us what we thought about the thing and it turns out I love it. <laughs> Weird! <laughs> One guy, not impressed. We've got a whole yeah, bunch just, of new features. Yeah. One of the biggest ones that a lot of fans are excited about is the class system. They split the characters up into different classes. They okay. have different weapons, special abilities that you can customize. It affects your health. It affects how you are going to support your team. There's going to be more content. You're going to have to. The get pool shark. And how to play. There's no pool. <laughs> that was his number one complaint. Yeah, <laughs> they flew out to check on. <laughs> Confirm no pool. <laughs> is that a snooker Dude, Nukem had it. What are you guys <laughs> doing? <laughs> feels a lot better and go, oh, okay, this gun feels kind of more real, less floaty. Which is your favorite hero so far? We're introducing a system called Battle Point. That guy's a narc. That guy's a plant. <laughs> that guy works hey, what, uh, what modes do you think are the best? You, uh, you like this hero? <laughs> There's such a plethora of things to spend it on. Vehicles. Or even coming in He's as working a on the next Star Trek and game. The coolest thing, I think, is a level of customization, not just from a weapon standpoint, <gasps> but the actual character's own ability. This could be really cool if they do it right. I oh, want totally. Battlefront to be awesome. good. You yeah. Know? yeah, just needed, like, just needed more yeah. 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 multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. more hooks. I just yeah. want you to not kneel to get it's into a, really a vehicle. <laughs> To know that like you're honestly, feedback to make it a better experience. So you're not getting in the vehicle. You're like kneeling while the, 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 like that guy's just like, I'm taking knee. Yeah, I want to take off from a vehicle yeah. like on the ground. Everyone ready? So I'm going to participate in making the new trailer Duke. a <laughs> there you whole go. different level See? of fantasy. Right, <laughs> heard there was pool in this uh, one. Three, two, Can you flush a toilet? Space <laughs> toilet, I guess. Now, on behalf of the EA Game Changers and Dice, this is the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront Two. Multiplayer game. He's wearing his own shirt. I wouldn't you though? Yeah. No. Like, that publicity, man. I'd be wearing no, a hat. If my name was Stone Mountain, I couldn't. Pull Look, that he's off got in a box place. full of those at home. He needs to do something with if them. If my name were Stone it. Mountain, maybe he I just goes be. to Stone Mountain, Georgia. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be stopping at like a coup right now. <laughs> Who are we gonna get? I want to be those idiots. Rock like on some it. level though, it's like, hey, we uh. Ooh. We thought we had some ideas about how to make this game, but I don't know. Let's get a bunch of people in here and have them tell us how to make it. This is kind of a weird thing, too. This looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's the thing about the prequels. It's like, this stuff looks beautiful. Yeah, those designs and yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> right. As long as you're not, nobody's talking. Yeah. <laughs> well, to play this, you have to do like a 45 minute political thriller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You play oh, the Trade Federation. Yeah. So I wonder <laughs> if you're you new gun ray. I wonder if you only use Darth Maul on certain maps. Probably different heroes for different maps. Yeah. Well, I guess they could do that. I, I think I would rather just say, let them say, hey, it's a multiplayer game, so fuck it. Like, just play yeah. what you want to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're running around as the Emperor in the first To hell with your cannon. Yeah. yeah, like, the Emperor was doing, like, M. Bison torpedoes and stuff in the <laughs> last one. Just like real life. <laughs> Oh, is that going to be the mode like the uh, ATAT -AT mode in the last one where you take down a Star Destroyer? That sounds cool. So remember that the ATAT -AT yeah, would be marching. Yeah. Who is that Daft Punk guy? Hey, hey, is that that Snarf guy from the new one? Snarf. Yeah, Snarf. <laughs> that famous Star Wars guy. What's his name from the new one? Snarf? Yeah, <laughs> the big crazy hologram General guy. Snarf. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's Snoke. Supreme Snoke. 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 Yes. Supreme yeah. Commander Snarf. <laughs> Snoke is a really funny word. Yoda, Darth <laughs> Maul, Wookiees, Kylo Ren versus Rey. I, I, I watched that thing like 20 times backstage with my mom before this even started. My mom's here. Yes, it's a big day for me. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> I like her. She's got good. Like, yeah. Yeah. She does. She seems like she wants to be there. Yeah. Okay. 
So we have even more exciting things for you. In just a moment, you two personality, I, Justine, oh. Shoutcaster, Alex Goldenboy Mendez, and Dice developer, Paul What is Kesslin the difference between a Shoutcaster and a YouTuber? Assault <coughs> on okay, so like, the, the YouTuber is the personality they're making the thing, but the Shoutcaster is kind of like a commentator, okay. or like a John Madden type who will call out actions and commentate big matches. Yeah. Yeah. I saw people arguing over the use of the word Shoutcast recently. Or do they use yeah. Icecast now? Like, what, are, can you be an Icecaster? Well, it's different for different games. Okay. Nobody calls them shoutcasters in like Dota, but <laughs> it depends on what class you are. A first person like shooter. Because like shoutcast shout cast. was a protocol really and a, yeah. like it's a, it's, all the bells it's a and whistles, really all weird the old newness, thing. So yeah. every time there. the term gets used, it's, Another big yeah. Was Tony Schiavone a shoutcaster? Absolutely not. Okay. Maybe maybe on the side he ran a shoutcast station. I don't know. I got minor league baseball team. Thought I wasn't going to turn up. Yes, I was. But I'm sorry I can't be there with you because um, I'm doing a play in London. Speaking but of I do have some guys, seem to really like what Obviously, they're doing. You know, oh yeah, he seems into Star it. Wars Battlefront One, and now we're going into the next. Also, chapter you might have forgotten I'm British. Ben Pat certainly did. <laughs> We've seen you. The first movie I saw him was Attack the Block, which is like one of the most British movies. West Fifth. We're to watch The Wire and see interviews with all those people and realize like all of them are British. Yeah, a lot of them are. Captain Phasma. As part of the first season of free content. Did you say Captain Plasma? Phasma. 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 That's not better. <laughs> Phasma is a character from the new Star Wars. Okay. Show up and fall into a trash compactor and that was it. That now Phasma was I think Phasma is the, 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 like, the, the leader of the dark. Trooper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. here's the chrome thing, the lady from Game of Thrones. I think she just fell into like a garbage can. She apparently has a bigger role in the next two, okay. two I think. Okay. And I'm excited. Let's play. All right. <laughs> My no, tweet made this happen this when you cut to the gameplay. Phasmar <laughs> headed to Star Wars Battlefront 2 this holiday, and it will be free. Yes. That's a pretty the good job, The team at Dice heard yeah. our feedback loud and clear on the previous Battlefront. He doesn't really exist. And are committed to keeping <laughs> the community together. He was always digital. Seasons of content, I expect to be excited for, for like every game EA has shown no so far charge. outside of soccer and basketball. So, the first the season, chair. inspired by Star Wars The Last Jedi, is only the beginning of the additional That's content one, right? coming yeah. to yeah. this yeah. game. All post-launch heroes, maps, weapons, and vehicles will be free for everyone who owns Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yes. And yesterday, EA announced <laughs> that players who pre-order will get early access to multiplayer beta and Yoda's epic lightsaber mastery star card. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Words? Sorry, I don't know how to explain that. Like, what the fuck am I even reading? Multiplayer across all three Star Wars eras. Space Yoda's battles, epic mastery space star card. Book. Yeah, you know, and that thing everyone knows about. <laughs> that's the real love. Together for years. That's the hashtag. <laughs> yes, right? Yes. 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 We are going to get through this part, people. <laughs> I never got okay with Yoda so having a lightsaber. That was never okay. Was like, doing, like triple back the Count Dooku thing. It was stupid. Yeah. I can't believe they let me do this today. And <laughs> I can't wait to play the game in its entirety in November. And I get to start right now. So I'm going to go pick up my controller and I'm going to throw it over to I, Justine, and Golden Boy and Paul to take us to Assault on Theed, the world premiere of Star Wars Battlefront 2's multiplayer. I just didn't really die, Carly. Thanks so much. Hey, guys, <laughs> yeah. welcome to the world premiere of Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront 2's multiplayer <laughs> gameplay, Assault on Theed. We are ready to show you guys the live gameplay Theed. for the Theed? first time. Is that from I'm the prequel? Yeah, it was, uh, here today. We've got Golden Boy. I mean, I, what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a... Uh, okay. Yes, it was, the, actually heard of it was like Boy. the jungle world. Uh, uh, what we're gonna see I think it's the city. Other than that, Naboo? Yeah. We'll be showing the... Oh, Theed is on Naboo? Yeah. we showing people going... Uh, Coruscant, a planet? Yeah, that's the, Nebu, so that's the city. The city. That's where the Natalie Portman government was, right? Yes. Golden uh, is actually the first person I've heard of for, of these uh, like personalities and yeah. YouTubers. You've never heard of I Justine? No. I've heard of I Justine. Yeah, yeah, I, heard I, I have seen some Stone Mountain stuff. Like that dude's kind of funny, actually. He's not bad. Try to capture that from the, the clone army. Okay, so that was from the end of the Phantom Menace when they're charging with the blasters and everything. And make that last end. Can we just take a moment here and appreciate the fact that we get to be droids in Star, in Star Wars? This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Are you I feel like he almost I'm a transhumanist. I always wanted to be a, a machine. <laughs> I'll put my consciousness to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> get me out of this body! <laughs> We're going to be uh, competing here, and I use competing as a term. 
because these guys are holding nothing. Because they're in yeah, competition with one another. We got a chance to play <laughs> this is the coolest anything from Phantom Menace has ever looked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. It's like that idea, too, of them all like coming out of the giant toaster thing is really cool. Just for a game like this. So let's talk more about what we're seeing here and getting into this, because there's three phases to this. So currently, we're in phase one. That's right, and also we have Mr. Three Muscle. One of them oh, can you be the ones that the roll in the ball and then they unfold? Oh, have to, like, yeah, I love those things. Guns. We also have my boy Darkness, a.k.a. Damon. Uh, what? Uh, what's happening? The, uh, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. What are we doing right now? That's I'm now great. interested in NBA Live. <laughs> is this a shoot? Wait, that was a weird cut. Uh, what the fuck just happened? I think they just cut to the wrong feed. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought they were trying to do the weird numbers. dots right now and just showing this. NBA versus Star Force. Down the, the street of feed here, and the pressure is on for the clones. They have to hold back the assault here. The pressure is on for the clones. Uh, like the, the droids are, are sitting there trying to escort that MTT. Are they going to be in the league or in the street? We don't know. Yeah. The first one, did you always right switch between third person and first person? I know the hero or stuff or was third person. Uh, yeah, let's actually talk I, about the I think you could switch, actually. I can't remember. I don't remember either. In Battlefront? In yeah. Battlefront? I'm pretty sure you could. I think you could, yeah. You mean like the Bat Star Wars Battlefront that came out like the newer one, one, yeah. So the heavy blast is great. They got a bit more health than your average trooper. Oh, man. They're also able to pop that combat shield, try to push into areas. So you can see those guys as pushers or defenders in some areas. But it looks like we got one of our vulture droids right now. Not sure who's flying this guy, but these guys are great at air to air, trying to take out those other ships that might be coming in, that Naboo N1 Starfighter. Otherwise, they're there to provide some great ground support like we're seeing here. Trying to get yeah, some, some great ground support there. Oh! Oh! Come on, man. You Missed that tower. You just, you just did it wrong there, buddy. So Sorry. Whatever. That looks fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> we do. We do. Uh, so like, stop those treating this like it is full on seasoned competitors <laughs> playing a fucking game tank. that they're experts at. Really at I like the serpentine running. Yeah. That's some good. A little clip of the V-Wing doing that. Oh, man. He's just mowing some, some droids down there. There you go. Showing off. Yeah, that's a guy having fun playing a video game. He's like, no, I'm going to see if I can fly through that, th that thing. Like, whatever. I don't care. It's not my stats. Yeah, sorry, not my account. Yeah. And eliminate as many people as you possibly can. And also, you put the presence of an air vehicle out there. Players will fear the skies, and they will, you know, look for cover. Before the head of the team flying under every bridge. It's find cover to begin with. <coughs> I think so. We're trying to Absolutely. get there. And you can see right now that there is an AAT tank sitting around on the battlefield. He is probably uh -oh. taking out those clone troopers, but this, this droid, this vulture is really... Stepping it up. What I love about this is everyone's like, oh, look at this great open map. And then when you start phase two, it's like everything starts coming in and coming way closer together. And we were Absolutely. talking a little bit more about the assault class. So for somebody Still working who on that just desk, started yeah. playing this, never played any previous versions, do you feel like the assault class might be something perfect for them to pick up? I think the start? assault class is, is, yes, absolutely. It's something that is, ooh, ooh. that's painful. Uh, the assault that's class is something hurt. that uh, a lot of players will be able to jump right into. They're they're your frontline flanker attacker. I think painful. they're they're going to be fairly easy. You can get I don't right know, in. It actually seems like having, kind of a quick you know, game with <laughs> <laughs> I, I their signature ability. Also, you gotta admit, you that's gotta hurt. Screen, your number two also, no, I don't think I do. A video game. <laughs> get a little bit faster, and you're able to really get in there and kind of, you know, break those, break through those front lines. Oh, I love it. I love it. Seems you. like Battlefield. It is so yeah, good. Battlefront. Yeah, you know, it's when like it's, you know, the really Battlefield one came out and they continued to sweet. iterate on the tech and filled it full of Star Wars again. And yeah. Uh, to play with here. We also the first one probably sold a lot, dog right? Uh, here. Uh, I, I, yeah, 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 I, I bought it. So. It did really well. And, played and, it for like and a week. Then I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think a lot, uh, most people bought it. I feel like they probably played it for a week. Yeah, yeah. everybody really bought it before they realized that it was not enough. They just always do a good job with the air combat. He's really trying to track him down. This this vulture's really tough. Yeah, so let's cut away from that. Oh, so we got Star Wars HQ here. You know, he's playing. He's playing the assault class again. Who's named himself him, Star Wars HQ? I think there's some George on there, there maybe. <laughs> suppress some of those guys, but then he rushes in. Yeah, like an airplane. It's actually Walt Disney now. Like, 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 <laughs> that was fun, but yeah. I think I'm done playing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, specifically, the frozen hand. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he has the <laughs> controller in his mouth. SMG style. That looks cool. I love those tanks. I wonder mean, how many, many people can get in here, or are they robots? Yeah. Also, some AAT tank action here, and this is like, doing what it does best. He's suppressing that point, trying to keep it's those very slowly out of trying way. to navigate around <laughs> narrow streets <laughs> that it is clearly not built for. Help me. Do I have space to back up? 
trying to, I don't know, he's trying to flank the tank. That's not smart. I don't know, man. Oh, maybe, maybe he will. unnecessary oh, roll. I've never seen a, a stormtrooper do a roll like that. Yeah. Well, he's a clone. Uh -oh. Oh, we okay. didn't get to see this one before. Yeah. Finally. Oh, what so some ATRTs. Yes. So these are, these are great for kicking what? out those AATs. So these guys are a little quick. They have an ion charge ability. They'll, that way they'll be able to do a little bit more extra damage against the tank should they see it. A little bit so more extra. you imagine like three or four of these on the battlefield really rushing around points. Like, look at this. And this if you swallow a stormtrooper, you can shoot it back out as a weapon. Can you get three or four of these on the battlefield? Or are they like... Yeah, it's just like a robot. <laughs> and you cut that thing open. And you... Yeah, it's a, it's a Robo Yoshi. <laughs> okay. You know, Find it, exploded. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Almost immediately. Yeah, almost immediately. Still flying around this thing. Oh, <laughs> Mr. So, Muslek. Uh, Mr. Muselk here. You know, Mr. Muselk. Mr. Muselk. Mr. Muselk. Mr. Muselk. Well, and also I did want that to man is not well armored. I wonder if there's like a blimp equivalent one of my favorite classes. Uh, in this game. Well, what is like, it about like late phase, yeah, if you can so kind of call it. I mean, my, my Twitch it's just, just a blimp. It's just a blimp. It's a space blimp. What? I don't know. Star Wars versus Battlefield. Horses. Fucking Battlefield All-Stars, <laughs> all the wars in one, finally. Okay. <laughs> Who right. would win? That's World War II versus vague future trooper. I really do hope there's a gun good so map because, like, those blue, like, the, oh, energy yeah. ball stuff that they would shoot. Yeah, really the like, cool. catapult thing. Yeah. 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 Whether you're scoring points via kills, via. They say what you will about Jar Jar, but they had some cool tech. Yeah. yeah. You're earning points continuously that will allow you to throw the, like, orb grenade into the droid tank or whatever. Or shove it down the tank hole or whatever. It sounds great. Unlock all of those things. All those things, definitely. And also something to look out for, too. Seems like they only have direct feed of, like, three people. Yeah. They might have had more at one point, but then someone had the cable switched and it was on NBA. Basketball's on the rest of them. No matter what happens, basketball. Causing Mr. Some Music kind of needs issue to get out of that. Right. He doesn't know how to fly that thing. He just loves this plane. No, they told me I was going to be the flying one. So. Oh, there we go. There That's yeah. not going to be happening for much longer. Oh, Master G is just <laughs> destroying him. Oh, 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 he got picked off. Nice job. But he was, I, mean, he I feel like that was the one time Mr. Right? Muscle K like, did something cool. He shot the other plane down and wasn't on him. <laughs> right. Oh boy. So, and you can see after every respawn as well, you get those. Uh, How many points you're earning? Right. That's so you right. Can use those later on. This guy's name is Battlefront Updates. Here I don't know where he works. Take off a couple bases, perhaps. That and so, in the specialist good. class, you can also deploy different types of traps. As yeah, well. absolutely. So they have access to a trip mine. So if you want to sit there and you want to be, you know, that true sniper character, you set up some trip mines behind yourself, make sure nobody can flank you. Oh, really, you're really there to provide some of that cover fire for your troops downrange. And it's especially potent in this area. Isn't the name of the little guy that cackled next to Jabba? Area. So guy. Oh, so that's right. That's my favorite Star Wars name. <laughs> that's out there. Bombing runs here and just absolutely tearing him up. I have to say, man, Musok is I really like it. Chewbacca. Yeah, and it's, 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 I mean, you've heard it so many times that it, it's hard to really appreciate it, but it's a good name. I like Newt Gunray. Mm -hmm. I like Cool Shark. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. oh, cool shark. Really good. I like John Madden. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want to be able to have at least one officer available because he keeps you going in the fight. At least. I mean, they really help push, you know, when those heavies are trying to try again. the point. I got it this time. Yeah. Still <laughs> flying. I'm really going sure to really get him. I mean, he's so good that no other pilots can shoot him down. Yeah. He's so good that nobody else gets a chance to use that damn thing. Is this the same clip they just rolled? Okay, no. I hope he can be Star Killer from Force Unleashed. I hope so. I can't even remember where that takes place. That's like, that's... Between two and three? three? So uh, there, uh, four. to be dead nine. before four, just right? What is Kyle Kern? Uh, oh, he just went into, into siege this is, mode? Yeah, this is happening. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> tell, tell us about the siege mode. What, sure, so how does this play out? In siege mode, uh, quick man, uh, you, for a limited time, you're able to just pull like off... Starcraft or Starcraft? Yeah, Starcraft. Yeah, sorry. down the position, but you're able to have a lot more firepower. We also just saw the B2 super battle droid there as well. That's something you can get Another one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, you can grab those guys via the battle point system. Those guys. <laughs> nice. You're just messing around. Yeah. How high can you go? A lot of rapid fire. Oh, oh not that high this year. Oh, there it is. That was that was the Snoop Dogg running to the edge of the map this year. Yeah. Phase this year's one session. Is over now we start phase two, and this is when the action really begins to pick up here. This is where the game actually really gets good. Inside of that building. Like everything, all that other stuff, that was bull crap. Now let's get to the good stuff. I mean, that could be cool if we're going to go inside and do like corridor shooting. Yeah, yeah it's like a Overwatch. It's like I can all yeah. burst down the door and then get in there. It's a tight corridor. He's going to make a huge difference. It's going to black and some of that stuff. It's going to be like a ship and then the ship gets to the island and run around there. Everybody gets in his way. Because it's those, nor those narrow corridors. It's going to be trouble. And just waiting for the prime opportunity to push up here. 
players falling. You got, you know, White Boy there. Oh, and there. oh, oh here we go. Darth Maul. Darth Maul yes. He's about to die. Here we go, folks. Darth Maul. This is Maul. where it starts to get interesting. This is it's scary. Darth Maul will excel in Phase 2 and Phase 3 as you're inside. I mean, he can he's a skateboard. He's going to sit there with his throw. And he killed Tony oh, Hawk exactly. in the cannon of him. Absolutely. I mean, some of his abilities you can he see talking? here, he's got that spin Yes, yeah, so he was eventually <laughs> felled by Bam Margera. <laughs> just take guys out the, in the process. It was funny, I was talking to Musa. Bam cut him in half and, and he fell down that corridor. Oh, now you just put him in, a, well. in like a grocery cart and <laughs> rolled him down a hill. How he wishes. I was like, if he can't. Don Vito. He was subjected to 30 years of pranks and torture. Yes, famous Star Wars character Don Vito. He's a bounty hunter, right? Yeah. Wait, that's it. Boba Fett? Not Jango Fett? Yeah, it's Boba. Look, it's that would be, I guess we are just mixing yeah. areas. Yeah. This is where Boba Fett will really shine. With that jetpack of his, he's able to kind of float. He can go meet his own dad. That's uh, weird. Yeah. Rockets and really just take out an individual. Eh, it's a multiplayer game. Like it's yeah. Not, yes, it doesn't need to you stick to yeah. cannon. Yeah. Sure. We give him a bit new tricks. Uh, he's got Star Wars Bounty Hunter. You played as Django, players, right? Yeah. yeah. He also has his rocket barrage instead of just one rocket. He's able to reach for my turret. Nice. Also, one thing to keep in mind, we saw the B2, here we go. Show me more Darth Maul. That's side. the coolest you know, part. Yeah. Uh, you know, Some of the footage that leaked had like, well. a, we haven't a good chunk of Darth Maul in it. I never thought I'd be saying that. Right. Show me more Darth Show Maul. Show me more Darth Maul, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That you love from Battlefront, oh, the wasted original. Character. Yeah, uh, like this redemption of Darth, here, Darth Maul is really weirding me out. <laughs> like people exactly. liking yeah, a thing from episode one. I mean, that was the thing people liked from that, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, like before the movie came out, we were like, look at yeah. that guy, he's badass. And it was only the movie that was like, oh. I really like the discussions of trade blockades. That was what I really took away from that movie. Who was Darth Maul again? Ray Park. Just some asshole. Okay. A Ray Park thing. He didn't do the voice. He had to play Toad in the X Men movies. Yeah. Okay. Who did the voice? Yeah. Uh, some other guy did the some, voice. That's why weird. I was asking if he was talking because uh, I wonder if uh, they, uh, they went out and got that dude for this. But it also heals you back up. So it's oh, here we got some of the the jump troopers. Oh boy, and here we go. It's oh boy. Uh, ready for phase three in just a little bit. There's a jump trooper. We talked about him before. Jump he can jump. That's a play. really bad uh, name. Again, you know, it's attached jump to a specialist now. I think it works. <laughs> it's very descriptive. You know what you get. Yeah. That's right. It's more descriptive than Stormtrooper. Yeah, it's true. They don't have, like, lightning powers yeah. or anything. A thamper. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is even happening? It's the, uh... I'm super excited to play as her. What's her name? From Ray? Ray, yeah. I hope there's a level where you play as Anakin and have to murder a bunch of children. No, she's fine. She got back up. No, but Ray has... I would just immediately go to the dark side. Absolutely. Like, it's so 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 much mind trick is, is something that I, there are drawbacks. Uh, all enemies, and you get all wrinkly. Wait, was that Han Solo, Solo giving yeah, up? Yeah, you know, yeah. Just so you guys know, this <laughs> Han Solo just. Gets so I wonder if you only get the hero characters in the third phase of this mode. So much going on here. Yeah, that way. We saw a little Han, yeah. Little Han. Just a little Han. He plays little Han. Tiny Han. Two inch Han. Hey guys! They're into the baby group. That's how they're going to bring Han back to Fast and Furious. He'll be like, I'm Han's son. Yeah, played by the same actor. With his rocket launcher and his jump pack, trying to be mobile, trying to fly into that last zone. Since they were in Force Awakens. This is really where heavies are, are going to... I'm trying to think which would be cooler, Han Solo in, in Fast and Furious or Han from Fast and Furious in Star Wars. Absolutely I think Harrison Ford would really mail it in if he was in Fast and Furious. I think he wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. So, so other, other way. What? Do you know when this is out? To their uh, November. Year. Yeah. Yeah. Really the movie's in December, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think she said November. That yeah. Sounds right. The separatists will win I wish they were showing game. more story mode stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. De yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm they excited. made such a big deal out of them being in there. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited because like, they didn't say it was good. Oh, okay. They said this was good. Yeah. It's so cool when Titanfall did that well, like introducing that campaign. So I got to be way into it if it pulled off too. This is like, I mean, this is maybe just picking hairs here, but like, doesn't this seem a little too polished for something to call something a pre-alpha build? I think of like those rooms have been completely muddy. Like, shouldn't those just be kind of like block and placeholders? This is their vertical slice. This is the one map that exists right now. They've got one map. Han Solo was just getting torn up. This is going to be trouble. <laughs> it's like and it's two, probably two unbalanced. It's <laughs> you know, you know, probably like, a lot. Oh, some hot episode 7 spoilers everything. from that guy. I mean, oh, really? Yeah. I mean, Han Solo, he, he was like, oh, Han Solo's getting torn up. It's too soon. Uh, oh, yeah. Blasters. Han Solo <laughs> versus Darth Maul would be over pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Play the game, Darth Maul. Oh, he was our MVP. 
Look at that. Nice yeah. stuff. Moose Wait. Moose up. Congratulations. This thing isn't five on Okay, I was going to say, that seemed like way more than five yeah. I think I was just top five players. Well, that was it. What did you guys think? Intense. That looks really cool. That's Star Wars. It looks Actually, like you would expect to look like Yeah, freaking awesome. Yeah. What do you think those boxes so in front of them like, are? I love the class based gameplay personally. Those things? Uh, those are mixer boxes. Right? I don't yeah, know. Really they really must have got, maybe they got. You think there's gameplay on them or something? I, I don't know what it is. Maybe they did. <laughs> maybe play they the game. Why did they go back? There it is. That was the play of the game. That's not the best pilot. You know, because although maybe it was. Get to that NBA shot too. Actually, I think it's just a crash montage. I think that's what we're going to do at this point. It's all crashing all the time. I'm down with that. But it was Nusak. I mean, he's sitting there, you know, getting as many battles. Gotta crash some. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nap time. Oh. <laughs> Get more, more and more things. Yeah, that's right. And again, you know, just the game. Good fire. One thing I do want to compliment yeah. uh, the team on, you know, EA and Dice, just the way the game looks. It's it's so beautiful. Especially seeing this part. Um, can't jump up there. You can't get up there. Can you get up there? I think I can go. No, I can't get up there. Yeah, I can't get there from here. Managed to do so. I mean, kudos on that one. Once again, you know, just drop, dropping jaws everywhere. Close course stuff seems cool. Yeah, I'm more into that than yeah. Incredible things. I mean, you can see uh, it like so looks pretty. really cool too. Like all the just yeah. yeah. You've got like three or four yeah. guys. Yeah. Dude yeah. throws a grenade and he just storm it. Yeah, but think about how much cooler it'd be so if you were playing as Ryan right now. You know, like we get it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything would yeah. be a lot cool. Look at how little that guy's shield was. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and overall, I mean. You know, I have to say, like, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I, I have to say to this. <laughs> they told me to. I <laughs> have to say <laughs> this. I have to say, you can pre-order this game right now. <laughs> I literally have to say that. Yeah, you know, exactly. They won't give me my check afterwards. <laughs> These headphones are rigged to explode. So awesome. Now, if you guys are in LA, <laughs> you can come you said, join us at FanFest awesome. this weekend. <laughs> and if you come down on Monday, we've got a chance for you guys to win a trip to Gamescom in Germany this Mega August. Hunter. All you have to do is come and play, which is, I mean... That's not asking too much. And you have to be the best player of your match, and you guys will be entered to this. win a trip for two to Cologne, Germany, and a full pass oh, yeah. to Gamescom. You've As been someone, for Yeah, I've been there Which one you want to come times, to Germany with me when I win? I mean, Dan? Yeah, I'll go. Right. I've, I've been. It's, it's, a lot of it's lovely, right? right? So uh, you're not, you're the big on cheese? The big on sausage. Trip, you're gonna be sausage. Sausage. Okay. You get the trip. You and Buddy, oh, you're going to have a good time. It's a fun time. Hopefully I'll see you there. Well, if you guys like Star Wars like we do and you guys want to play as your favorite heroes and villains, you guys can download Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes right now on Android or That's iOS. Okay. And mm. you can play as Hang any on, what? icon A here. Galaxy of Heroes! Didn't that get really well, big? I also yes, I yeah, like that, right? Super, super popular. You, you Matt Rory plays quite a bit of, of, of it. Yeah. Galaxy of Heroes. I play a ton of Brad, Galaxy of Heroes. I've played that game yeah. every day since it's launched. I recommend that. I've actually spent about a thousand should. Definitely play. I do have a problem. I lost my Clash Royale save when I got my new phone. Oh, yeah. I, I, I gotta pick it up. Feel better? Yeah, I, know it I know it does. I've quit before. Going, so I, I guess I have to make that. Yeah, I was actually playing. I started playing in December, so around the holidays, that's pretty okay. much all I did. Good. It was great. I hate my family. I haven't played it since, though. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Here. Yes, he Stay did. battlefront2.com. He's a whale. About the game, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Paul. Golden Boy, this was incredible. And now I'm going to send it over to Patrick for more. Okay. All right. I thought, I was like, I starting to wonder, like, done. are we done with the press conference? And now this is like... They got to do their summary. Everyone. Yeah. And thank you to the real rock stars of this show. The development teams inside EA. <laughs> you are truly amazing. One day you'll get your due. That's very tired. One day a very handsome man will tell me I'm a rock star. And there's more coming. Stay tuned online for a closer look at some of our biggest game. And remember, EA Play is for all of you, our players. Thank you all for joining us. Now, let's play. Play the game. No single player stuff? Huh. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> you gotta for Gamescom. Uh, I'm cool. uh, for I wonder us. if it'll show up tomorrow. They said oh. they said something about reveals at Xbox. That yeah, was a, they're they're that, that was the Bioware. They, they, they said yeah. it, but they said it about multiple things. I could see them doing that. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe when they get into their like Scorpio block of I mean, the, that and yeah. start talking about third party <coughs> stuff, like, yeah, it like it seems like EA is into that. There thing. we go. Yep. What what is the music? It's like how did, is this turn based? Like, like yeah, yeah. Kind of like, Final yeah. Fantasy Tactics. Like what is Sort of not even that. We're I don't here think. in Hollywood, California. Uh, and there is EA no one playing <laughs> Galaxy of Heroes <laughs> right now. <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and a brand new character we have come to the game we teased last week. Luke Skywalker. Grand Admiral Thrawn. But with Today two I'm joined eyes. by Cassandra Gomez, community manager for Galaxy of Heroes, also known as Cozy Spoon in the Hi. community. And Daniel McLaren, lead designer on Galaxy of Heroes, also goes by not really a Jedi. It's true, I'm 
not actually a Jedi. Conference but is I'm over, excited right? to be here. Yes, it is. It we is. Don't, we yeah. don't have to watch this. I think I that... Um, I'm excited. I think that With just the uh, Empire a way, a way out, out yeah. was yeah. The, definitely the thing. That yeah. It was the most awesome. surprising, yeah. certainly. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of that looked really good. Uh, yeah. A way out, a need for speed. Need I'm for really speed. curious yeah. about now. Yeah. Star Wars looks awesome. Like That was actually a super solid press conference, I think. Just based on their history, I remain skeptical of NBA, you know, and I probably will until that thing comes out. Well, but it's a totally, speaker yeah. choice in it. They have, they, uh, yeah, they, they have not earned a level of credibility with basketball. Not yet. Uh, did they say when that thing was going to come out? They just said this, like, I assume this fall. Yeah. When does the season start? Uh, usually around October. Okay. Oh. So huh. maybe they're just planning for yeah. that and, and try to get back on regular track with it. Um, yeah, no. I, but beyond that. All that stuff looks fine. Uh, the way out looks really good. Yeah. Uh, Need for Speed looks about how I kind of figured it would at this point. You know, Based when, on when, what they, they, when they talked about yeah. like, hey, it's going to be a three-player story, kind of heisty sort of thing. Like the screenshots they put out, you look at it and you go like, oh, these are cutscenes, huh? And driving into and out of cutscenes can be really dynamic and fun, but if it, they lean on it too much, that would be my concern. Do you is, think that you know, was indicative of how it's going to be? Like the way they kept cutting to oh yeah. the camera stuff? Yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah. Was, I think yeah. that was the I game. Think really? That's, okay. that's, that's, hmm. yeah. I hope uh, they don't do that too much. Yeah, if it's going to be all the time, you know, maybe it ends up being yeah. like, these are the big missions you're building up to, yeah. and these are the ones that are extra cinematic, big but I wonder if the rest missions. of them are just going to be like, take out ten guys, you know, if yeah, they just end yeah. up being like burnout you know, missions but or like, something it, like that. Who it, knows? I, I would be into a very set PC kind of driving game like yeah, that. that yeah, would, you know, I, I, there's room for it now. Like, I mean, bridges are just exploding. And yeah. I mean, yeah. wasn't, wasn't the last one just like a bunch of time trials and stuff? Just yeah, the, tuner the, uh, stuff? The last one was just like a really repetitive uh, mission types, like yeah. over and over again, as you leveled up in the different disciplines. And then occasionally you got a bit of FMV that made you go like, oh man, this should be better. Have they said if it's going to be like an open map? Or is yeah, it going to be said, said, said said open, 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 open okay, world. But yeah. I don't know. Like th that game, also, like it, it kind of does directly remind me of the run, which was huh. again like the last time they they tried to do kind of a larger story like that, uh, and the run had like quick time events where you were out of the car, or jumping right. over dumpsters mm. and stuff, and that that was a rough that was a rough thing. Okay. Uh, but you know they've taken a year off, um, and you know had some some changes around the, the top of that team, I guess, and we'll see. It it looks really nice. They didn't mention anything about multiplayer in that demo for Payback, right? Right, no. Like co-op or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, keep, keep in mind, that, like, the last couple of Need for Speeds have been the, like, pull out and you're always online, yeah. you know? So, like, the thing that they said, like, they made that announcement that was like, yo, you could pause in this game, you can play it offline. Like, so they're really kind of leaning into that just to, <laughs> like, kind of make the emphasis of just, like, well, look, we're, yeah, right. yeah, we know. Uh, because like that last game when they had all that multiplayer stuff like you never used it it was a huge waste it was a huge waste of potential uh, with the way that they handled their open world always online stuff so uh, that's smart I assume you know that they would definitely have some kind of multiplayer in there for, for whatever but I think yeah, so I think aside, I mean it, that kind of seemed a little known quantity and I think yeah uh, they didn't show anything really from Anthem, so I, I guess I, yeah. no well, I guess we'll yeah, find out about we'll, that tomorrow. Yeah, we'll find out more tomorrow, I guess. Like you know, obviously that's a <coughs> big new thing, and and you know they'll show it on us. It'll be well, one of the big Scorpio things, I guess. So we'll we'll see that stuff. Kinda that was the Bioware thing. Yeah, yes, yeah. the sci-fi so thing. No, no, none of the other Star Wars properties making any right. appearance. No. No. Yeah, I no skate. No, no, no yeah. skate. No skate or more. Skate no. or die. No mention of Mass Effect. So actually, this is the most disappointing AA conference ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... You no, know, it was fine for the most... If it's you think just, about yeah. their last few, you know, there was that one they had, was that two years ago? Or was that three? Where it was just like, they showed, like, the equivalent of, like, we scribbled this on a napkin and here's... Oh, that was like, two years ago. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the, and, and they had so many things that were just kind of non-games uh, at that stage that... Uh, they have seem to have learned from that, and, and this is like a real meat and potatoes look at like games that will be out. Yeah, you mean like that Criterion driving thing that what never is that? Is that's that multi vehicle. The Criterion's working oh, on Battlefront. Helicopters, There's, yeah, yeah, ATVs. Criterion, yeah. Criterion's working on Battlefront. Yeah. I, I don't expect that that game. Yeah, will that, ever, that weird prototype thing will never come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that will ever. Yeah, that, that will ever even be a game really. Uh, yeah, um, and then the sports stuff. Uh, They're leaning big on those single player campaign. Yeah. Like storytelling type I stuff. stuff. Like, the, you know, like NBA really kind of 
some like started doing that in the cinematic way, right? Yeah, I mean, they've NBA 2K, had, like, yeah. create a player and bring it up through, you know, they've done that in EA's and sports s- games. And before, so the one from FIFA last year was apparently very, I, I don't play FIFA, but yeah. like people I know who love FIFA said Lil it was Wayne, actually a Lil good. Said it was really good. Yeah, no, Lil Wayne, <laughs> got, he called me up and he was yeah. like, you got to see the yeah. story mode. You got to see two things. One, the story mode. Two, I'm in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, but then, you know, Madden, this is the first time they're doing that. Right. Yeah. And I, that makes sense. I think their, their, like, street league NBA Live stuff seems... New. new yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. That stuff uh, doesn't seem like... Like, I, I want a good street basketball game. There's yeah. not been one for a, a while now. Yeah. yeah, Like you said, Jeff, if it plays, like, the standard yeah, game. Yeah, but, just but that, if, it, if, if that's just, like, three and three, I three on three NBA it, Live, which I bet is exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, this is something about, like, different rules or something. So, you know, yeah. maybe right, like but you're probably not going to be doing, like, NBA Street out, Super Dunks you know, and all whatever. that stuff. Slam ball Winners rules. Out, so. Okay. okay. Slam ball does rule. Yeah. It does. It really I'm on record. It really does. It's fine. I'm glad you said it. Someone finally coming out. Making a, a firm <laughs> statement. I, um, I think for you know what this is, which is a EA plays event with a press conference in it. You know, it, it is quadrupling down on community streamers. You yeah. know, the whole thing. Yeah, I thought that was it. an interesting approach. Like literally taking people and having like, okay, you're gonna literally present this part yeah. of the press conference. Yeah. I think is like I. I see why in a meeting that would sound like a good idea, and I think it's, it's probably tr- the right way to go. It's a trend that is continuing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, this isn't the first year. I think that they're yeah. it's probably working for them. Uh, obviously, it's working for them, or you don't do it, right? And they are continuing down that. Yeah. I, that, that, I also yeah. thought the traditional presenters were really good this year. Yeah. Like the, the yeah. Uh, way out guy and mm-hmm. then the girl that's in Battlefront. Like everyone was comfortable and yeah, solid. Yeah. Kind of nothing, sl- nothing too ridiculous. No, no, slow start, but then I think once it started moving, yeah. I think the the battlefront yeah. stuff I think actually could have been way tighter. Uh, yeah. You know, like the, like the, I understand, what you're like, hey, let's show one full match, like cool, but I, maybe they just didn't have enough interesting camera angles, or maybe I feel these like people they had been not cut played into enough of the game, else, or, like yeah. them talking about it or something, and that right. got a little boring. Right. Like, I would have rather have like had someone explaining the flow of the match while showing it like a little more expertly than like that guy crashed. Yeah. Um, and like they were kind of introducing the different stages of the match, but they weren't necessarily get uh, like getting right. too into the weeds with like what that actually means yeah, what or that, what you know, like okay, what triggers like that what's stuff. The, like I, I f- you know, it seems like an objective based mode, but I feel like I didn't ever see an objective. Yeah. Uh, other than just like an icon on a map far away, it really was just like up, oh, fall back. Which okay. I assume whatever. I mean, you know, Battlefield has done that type of mode for a lot of t- uh, time now, so you know that's not uh, too surprising, I guess. And when they, they they show a little more Need for Speed here. Seems like it. Yeah, it's boost. Is this going to be like start of a mission type thing? Yeah, this looks really nice. Yeah. I assume this is running on a PC. Uh, Some good dust clouds. Yeah, yeah. And car customization and stuff like that looked interesting in the trailer, but I, I'd be curious to see like how how much control you really have over that. If it is just like you made it into an off-road car and now it has off-road look. Yeah. Or if it is really is like a part by part sort of thing. Yeah, I almost kind of want to hear this just to see what they're. Free roam. Love that gas station. So what's going on here? There's the truck. That's so what we got to take down. Okay. Well, looks like they started the mission. So the mission will be the mission. All right. Whiz past here and then uh, they talked about their Battlefront DLC. Yeah. Right? Their, their, free. Yeah. Free, Some free stuff in there. The czar yeah. stuff. Yeah, I don't know. A, I guess we'll see I more th- th- coming I mean, up. for a multiplayer-focused game, like the, the free add-on stuff, I think, is kind of how you have to do it. Oh, for sure. You know, so that, that's... They tell that to Capcom. Wait a minute, that one has yeah. the license plate. That's the bad guy. <laughs> that's funny. I bet maybe it has the a. maybe bet. they spelled it wrong when they were like get prepping the demo. Yeah, I think you could probably just customize. Yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you've been able to customize it yeah. for for kind of a while now, so that that's not that's not too surprising. Hmm. Um, yeah, this looks nice, and yes. and you know like like it was running when they did that gameplay demo because it got framey in a couple of spots. So if they were faking the whole thing, they wouldn't they wouldn't show it like that. That's so true. that's cool, and they're they're letting people play this. So I would like to play this. Do okay, they go play this? They have their EA Play event going on all weekend, or is it just today? So it's a couple three of days. Yeah, it's a couple of days. Yeah, a couple okay. of days. Yeah, after this, and then I think they're they'll be shut down before 
E3 starts proper, but but this is pretty much the, for all intents and purposes, this event is their E3 showing. It, yeah, it, it, it is a different feeling thing. Like it, mm -hmm. it feels like they are not doing E3; they are doing their own event and showing stuff that is like playable and you know going to be in the near future. Versus and leaving the other stuff maybe to Microsoft or other partners yeah. to do the like. Sure. Hey, the here's the game. teaser stuff, and that you or like you know yeah, there. here's that how this stuff's going to look on Microsoft's new box, and you know all that sort of stuff. Yeah, for sure. it's a. It's a different feeling thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that there was no, like, but I guess, like, it's a sequel, so maybe they don't have to. I was surprised there was no, like, and you can play this Battlefront 2 thing right now. You know, right. Or there, there was no kind of right now thing, which. Ah, you played Star Wars Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's new, still a thing, right? New character coming to that. So. All right. Well, anyone else have anything to add about electronic arts? E3 yeah. has started. E3, yeah. It's, it's on. It's, uh, it's Saturday afternoon, and we're already in it. So. No escape. <laughs> no escape. No fate. Uh, cool. Yeah, Nothing? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Right. I want to see what Anthem is. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Curious. we'll, we'll uh, I guess have to tune in tomorrow. That's tomorrow morning, <laughs> right? What, <gasps> what time are we back on? Uh, 10? 9 30? Uh, I think it's 2. We are going to be back on in. That's not the website I'm trying to. How many to hours in, until we're think, back on? I think Microsoft is a 2. Twenty. That sounds correct. Twenty. We will be back on. God damn it! All right, internet. Oh, here we go. We'll uh, be around. We will be back on in a little under twenty-four hours. So we'll, okay. we'll be back on. I guess it, it'll be end up being one thirty Pacific time tomorrow uh, to start getting ready for Microsoft. We'll see what leaks between now and then. <laughs> if anything else uh, kind of squirts out. Uh, yeah. You don't want leaks from Microsoft. Yeah. yeah right. Squirty leaks. What? All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody, you guys for for. Thank you. Around. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Abby, Jason over there. Hi, how's it going? Thanks, Good. Abby. Right. Thanks, yeah. Jason. Awesome. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. E3 2017 is going to happen, <laughs> or is happening, mm. or will happen.
that has great actors and NFL Hall of Famers all wanting to be a part of it, then you know you got something special. And these, Mike did a bang up job, man. You know, and I, you say there about storytelling, right? A little later on, we're gonna bring on some game changers. We're gonna bring oh, on some, some YouTube. Hey! <laughs> no way. <laughs> what are you guys talking? No way. You guys having a con little conversation? Yeah. That was not planned. Anything no. can happen on National Live <laughs> Internet, I swear. J.R. Lemon, one of the stars, Devin wow. Wade. How's Devin in the flesh. The long shot himself. Thank you for having me. Can I shake your hand? Amazing. Can I shake yours? Yeah. Hi. Wow, this is Steve. Nice to meet you. This is a guy moment. This is a pro <laughs> moment. Is, right it here. is. It is. Yeah. Nice. I've been watching you a lot on, on virtually a lot, so this has oh, been fantastic right on, to see you. Yeah. So pleasure. Wow, things changed. Okay. Uh, so we were actually just talking about the uh, the power of story, how it's affecting not just uh, just entertainment in general, but moving forward to the gaming industry. And uh, yeah. for you, what, what was the the story like for Longshot? What was that emotion about for you? Well, you know, I, I always call it like Mike. The, yeah. I always call it the. Orphans. Oh, give him a mic! Give him a mic! Get in there! Oh, get in a little <laughs> mic! You know, I always call it. Uh, we just get a little closer, anyway. <laughs> I always wanted to meet him. I, I call it the orphan story. Um, you had this guy you. who was an innocent, who experienced <laughs> something like extremely traumatic. He became an orphan. He wanted to sort of start to look inside and sort of, he wanted to hide. He goes, goes to the military. And the compelling thing about the story is, is watching him find his warrior again. Watching him find his way out of that darkness and sort of into confidence again. I think any compelling story has those components. So that's what the story said to me, if that makes any sense. It does, my guy, my guy. Let's get one of these right here. Oh, <laughs> selfie mode, selfie mode. <laughs> Appreciate that. No, but now we're sidetracked, but again, listen. Well, a good sidetrack. A good sidetrack, fantastic sidetrack. Uh, so for, for you though now, Mike, for the core Madden community, a lot of what Scott had said there, it, it is about story, it is about yeah. emotion. What can the core Madden community expect when it comes to the emotion in the story of Longshot? Well, I think there's two things. You want to feel like you're part of a real NFL world. So they're going to be at the combine, a playable combine. We haven't had that since like Madden 06 or something. So there's real authentic experiences here. Um, you've got, you actually feel like you're hanging out with Dan Marino. Hall of Famer That's Dan cool. Marino feels like he is a mentor, a big brother to the Devin character. I think. When you embody Devin, you feel like you have a relationship, not just this entourage style cameo, but on top of that, you just care about these characters. Devin and Colt feel like real friends that have a really big range. It's not just this surface level friendship, but the, you know, you're gonna have this big range of emotion, humor, um, fights, a lot of conflict driving you in the story. And I think people are gonna relate to it because it's a story about getting to the NFL not trying to have people relate to these mega star things that are almost unrelatable. Like so few people get to that spot in their life. But this story I think is so relatable because it's really just about dreams and pursuit of dreams. And the two characters have different perspectives on how they go about it. And I think not that's to, what's gonna shine. Not to put you on the spot, but you guys are friends, right? You guys yeah. are, you, okay, we, good, good. Yes. Okay, good. We good, have become good friends. We didn't know when we started <laughs> yeah, on this journey. Other, yeah. But man, uh, we've been there for each other. <laughs> You know, it's it's tough. He works at Albuquerque half the year. I'm in New York City all yeah. the time. But yeah, we've become boys, man. That's we awesome. bonded over Chick-fil-A. We bonded over Chick-fil-A, 100%. You like In-N-Out? Not In-N-Out, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. I like In-N-Out. It's the South, baby. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Tomato's on there, it's fantastic. So speaking of the next question we have here, uh, what was it like working with Hollywood talent like this right here? Well, it's amazing you have a dream and you start the story and it's just a piece of paper, well, several hundred pieces of paper. I've seen all of them, I can confirm that. <laughs> um, yeah. But coming to the set and working and like developing these characters, it's so collaborative and they're so talented. And I think when we were together, um, they just made these people real. And uh, it's just so fun to work with great people who care and the collaboration was uh, really what made it special. Like we could you know, talk through scenes and talk about why they're feeling the way they are. And they're just so talented. And I think it's going to be some of the best acting you'll see in video games all year uh, from these two gentlemen. Well, I think I think from our side, too, like you created an environment that really supported that. I felt like we felt really comfortable just creating and playing and knowing that you would listen if we had ideas or anything like that. And yeah. I mean, collaborating, what, two, three years down the line, just throughout the process yeah. with the script and yeah. Just thoughts, seeing those ideas show up in the script. So I mean, that says that does something itself. You know, we talk about the work. I got a phone call four years ago, and I think one of the smartest things that Mike did was say, "I, I want good actors, but I want good actors who are also 
have either played football or are huge fans of football.